Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us for another episode of Monday Mayhem. This time, no musings here, just carnage, devastation, but no robots. Uh, today, I'm out. <laughs> Max has quit on the spot. Excellent. That's fine. We don't need Max because today we have got our very own video master, Robin Scott Bloor, to join me. Robin! Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Robin. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, sorry. Hello, we can everyone. see your beautiful face. <laughs> I'm Robin. I make the videos for Warlord and photography, um, and I used to be in customer service uh, a few years ago with Max and Marcus. Yeah, we've uh, brought the three musketeers back together for this game. That makes Connor Trainer, who was on the other week, the Queen of Spain. Yes, yes, it does. Um, so, Robin, what are we playing today? We're playing SBQR. You're going to teach me the basic rules. I'm going to teach him how to lose. He's yeah. going to learn from a master. I don't know, he's got Arrow Vista, so I'm actually <laughs> betting on Robin. Yeah, I, I, I like, saw special his Special characters list. Trump's uh, experience. I, I saw his list and uh, I thought, yeah, this isn't going to end well for me. So, uh, Robin, oh. what, what have you got for us today? Okay. What are you doing? Okay, so it's... I know we saw the camera are. The dynamic motion sickness camera is go! I have 722 points in total. Okay. So I have a unit of eight Skyclad Warriors. So those are the just armed with spears in your case? Armed spears, but they do have shields, but I don't think I've modelled them. Well, obviously there's not on them, but uh, somehow we forgot to put them on. The yeah. hypothetical shields. Yeah. And then it's the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, or, or aura. So I've got the two units of warriors, and they're also armed with clubs. Yep. They've got leather armour, and each unit has... Clubs. A... Are clubs unique from stand weapons? Like uh, normal hand wrap. So they've got a special rule. Yeah, they've they got a smasher. Oh, sweet. And that's so really, they're better. That's really annoying because it means that I can't use my shield rerolls against them. And because my army is all naked, I really need those shield rerolls on the six up armor checks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So let's start again. So, <laughs> two units of ten warriors. They've got leather armor. They've got a horn each and a standard each. Practically mandatory in version two, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Gloves and large shields. Then we have Aria Vistus with his two little dogs. Well, they're not really very little. Scooby and Do. Well, so little to me, but <laughs> they are very cute. And then we have eight <laughs> tribesmen just with bows and leather armour, and that is it. They can take bows? They start off with bows. <laughs> <laughs> they start off with bows. We, we had some uh, questions <laughs> with the uh, stats on them earlier. Uh, yeah. Marcus, if you'd like to explain. What you've done. Yes, so um, long time viewers, not even that long time viewers, about a couple of months ago, may remember this game one, actually. It is the horde of naked men that so bravely lost to Max's treacherous, awful, degenerate. You had to get very adventurous with photo editing and hiding that man's todger. It's a fine todger, and I would like to protest Max's censorship of my proud upstanding tribal leader's proud upstanding tribal leader. Okay. So, I, think, I think we're at cap for, like, we'll, we'll not go yeah. over two references per half an hour, so we've burnt those two. <laughs> Get them out of the way early. Um, so, in front, in all of his glory, you can see my leader, Terminal Ballistics, um, named in that fine Viscinian Underzo tradition, and he is pretty bog-standard, sword and shield hero. Mm -hmm. In the back, we have unit number one of Warriors, Skyclad, obviously, for that extra melee, for that extra melee loveliness, 12 to get the big unit, so another 10 melee dice when they charge. Um, short spears, big shields, uh, horn and standard. Another unit exactly the same, just to the rear of them. And then we have, just in the corner here, my shamefully cowardly clothed slingers. It's only because we don't sell naked slingers, right? This is basically because we don't sell naked slingers and I didn't have time to convert a whole bunch of slingers. Oh, there's nobody's got time for that. Nobody. <laughs> Um, and there is also, when I can find him, in the front here, my druid, Mental Gymnastics. And I am really glad I've got the druid because my plan is to hex Aria Vistus right at the start of the game. Unfortunately, I can't really hex him in a way that makes him substantially less of a problem for me to deal with. So, there we go. We know the forces. We do. Um, I think we're basically ready to go. We're just playing a pretty standard uh, bash and smash here. Yeah, because this is uh, Robin's first game of SPQR in the new edition, so I would say I'm taking it easy on him. Really, he's going to be taking it easy on me by about turn three, knowing my luck. Well, I don't um, know. I don't know. Very quickly before we start, to the mystery caller from this morning. Mm -hmm. For the rules for the Hornet, you are looking at Resurgence, page 50. 
and uh, welcome to everyone in the chat, old and new as well. Yes. So, um, I'm currently playing director, so I will be answering your questions if you have any. Uh, hello to everyone, nice to see everyone in this evening. We have everyone. <laughs> everyone that's coming is coming. So, first thing we need to do. And yes, Amish, there's a lot of After Dark going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that someone's picked up Warlord After Dark. Because mm -hmm. um, it wasn't going to be the company as an official channel. Not yet. So, first thing we need to do is roll off the die of fate to decide who has first I did. pick. Yeah. So, that's a five. That's pretty good. That's All a five. Right. That's equally as good. Let's roll again. That's a six. That's even better. Make it a d20. That's a six. <laughs> well, folks, here we go. Marcus and Robin roll dice at each other all night. That's a four. Oh, That's a one. Not one. as good as me. Uh, Robin, I think I could be really nasty, make you go first and just say you're doing everything wrong, but I'm going to go first so that you can say I'm doing everything wrong. Okay. That's my job. Um, well, there you go. Put your characters back where they should be. Yes, thank you. And sort out your uh, likes. I'm pretty sure that's a roll. Yes, it is... Um, let me just grab the rules for my druid. We actually got the cards for these because we're really clever. And organised. Druid. We're neither of those. Uh, no. The um, so the druid, I'd have to check, he has to take a penalty. There is no, no, there no roll attack. Yeah, so Robin. Oh, it's a roll yeah. Yeah, associated. No. You see Ariovistus, your man, big scary. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove one of his wounds before the battle starts. So just remember that. Okay. My naked druid has danced up and down so terrifyingly and waggled his uh, sides at him in such a shocking fashion that Ariovistus feels one fifth as strong, or one fifth weaker than he did earlier this morning. He probably has a uh, bad stomach, I'm just saying that. Yeah, it's, uh, can't, hand can't handle that display. His, can't handle his fine British food. That's what it is. Shocking display. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think my uh, slingers are just going. To go for uh, move, <laughs> really basic. I'm just going to try and get a little bit of the angle here on this house, and hopefully get a bit of cover from those bowmen before they start really pinging at me. Mm. We've got thirtieth PA there. Now this is great timing, my players. We're just asking about SPQR. Uh, that's good to hear. Now that some things are opening up in their new territories. Obviously, um, um, remember that we have two activations. Um, oh, so that's how we can do one. Yeah. So when now that you can get things like club nights, um, it's going to be a really good system to uh, develop a campaign with. I think. Ooh, hello. What's what happened here? I believe the feed's frozen. Just give me a moment. No worries at all. We will continue to uh, do our thing. Um, for those that can't see me, it is basically a pretty bog standard general. Yeah, it's back. Charge it forwards. Froze. So we two sixes on the moves. Uh, yeah, what I was saying is it's a really good game for reoccurring club nights. You know, if you play um, as like a one-off pickup game, it's a it's a fun war game. I think the real depth of this is watching your heroes grow um, from you know some guy you know who might as well be hero number three up to oh no, this is Maximus Decimus, really and <laughs> with you know all the upgrades and you know they gain a horse as they get stronger and uh, cooler and whatever. <laughs> so is it? Sorry, Max. Just to check in uh, your version of um, you know how you rank humans and people. Mm. Is it the more animals you have, your hero the more heroic you are, or is there a certain level of heroism required to have? Uh, heroism actually doesn't play into it because I believe her heroes are inherently good. Okay. Um, it's just uh, experience. At level seven, you get a horse. At level nine, you get a barded horse. At level fifteen, you get a griffin. And level twenty, you get a dragon. No is it just none? No Pegasus in there. Uh, it depends on the race. This is true. I uh, some people swap out the barded horse for a Pegasus. I would always swap the barded war horse for a Pegasus and a great axe. Um, so that is my phase of this turn. So basically, every action has been t double move. Double no move. Shoot, no shoot. No combat. No nope. nothing. Uh, Haggard, that's a good question. Is this a start of the Warlord League? No. Um, unfortunately, we haven't had proper gaming night start up yet. Is it my turn now? Mm -hmm. Right. So, Robin, remember, each of the units has two actions. You can see things like their movement on their uh, cards. Basically, it's six across the board, because the good news is we're playing very similar forces. This is like some kind of pre-medieval Operation Sea Lion, like a Dark Age Operation Sea Lion. The Germans... I, I'm liking the idea that this is post-Roma. This is yeah, this is like, yeah. I, I think of this more as the like uh, the invasion of Gaul, maybe. Well, uh, although you still only we're in, oh no, we're definitely British. We're not Gaulish. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, no, you're, you're, no, no Frenchman here, our wine tastes absolutely awful. One thing awful. this, like, Saxon and Persian kind of thing versus, like, some pit dish holdouts. Yeah, entirely possible. Some uh, some people from uh, Norfolk, or as they prefer to be called, the Ikini, um, who haven't realised that everything's changed. I grew up in a village very much like that, called North Portia. <laughs> um, so I'm doing but yeah, doing. Haggard, there will be the league. I'm planning on doing the um, more interesting games played up on here so we can kind of see the whole league and, like... Mm monthly weekly updates on like who's doing what because it is something we're looking at doing this is just a pickup game because we've not had a chance to properly arrange times and uh, get everything sorted but it's coming um robin an probably same with the tank league that's coming up an important thing to note here robin yeah. is you are allowed to pre-measure right I, oh, I forgot about that yeah yeah so if you want to find out whether those archers are in range feel free before deciding whether you want to shoot having moved well I'm honest with you i have a Vague plan. Oh god, I hate it when he does that. It's not a very good plan. That's part of So I have some in range. What is the range of your archers, good sir? 20, 20 isn't it? Oh, you're right. Yes, it is 20. Because it's slings with the longest range. Oh, yes. yes. But I'm thank you for telling range. me that my slingers are in range. Well, you've moved twice, so you can. I have, oh, but next turn. Yeah. Assuming I win the dice of fate roll, assuming I choose to go first, assuming I can roll some dice. I have, I have another plan already. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's going quick. Uh, <laughs> petition to have SPQR rules for Pegasus riding Skyclads, please. Send me a Pegasus, I'll make it. Uh, I would always say with stuff like that, that's, that's in my opinion, the remit of uh, Erewhon. Yes. Erewhon is something I want to get more games of on this stream. Oh yeah, we love Erewhon on here. Yeah, um, so I want to get an Erewhon game in at some point. Mm. Probably wait for like a possible league to start up, but I want to get a couple of games in. I've got all my Frostgrave models that are usable for it as well. well so, I've, got, uh, I've got dwarfs. Dwarfs? I've got a size of amount of dwarfs. Robin, so. you're volunteering to come on again, I hear. Yeah. You haven't even heard if you liked it yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, so, might, you might be turned free, but I'm never coming on. I'm selling my dwarfs. We've got to see, <laughs> we've just got to see what the viewer approval ratings are like. No, okay. um, share it with your friends to see dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, is that all of your actions for this turn? Yeah, that's been a bit of a steady me. advance this time. Yeah. So, again, reset, so we roll the dice of fate. Right, let's see. That's a one. That's not as good as a six or a five. Uh, Would you like to go first or second? Uh, Robin has the extra I will go second. On him. Oh, he's a canny sort, is Robin. But Marcus is going first. Let's put the camera on him. Yeah. Me time. I'm the famous one, apparently. Famously bad, I've been told, but uh, gotta take it where you can Tonight's get it. Tonight's your night of winning a, uh, a game where boots are actually on the terrain. Watch me lose. You've won game. at sea before, but that's all. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, that weird thing with Wellington? Can he win outside India? Can Marcus win any any war game that isn't a taster game? Of I am the Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know how that went. Um, so where are you thinking for your exile, Max? I uh, keep it traditional, Elba. You going Elba? Maybe Canary Islands, they're pretty nice. Cause of death? Cause of death? Gout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always struck me as a man who could get gouty in old age. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. The highest compliment I've received this week, and it's only Monday. <laughs> well, you know, start strong. Playing a little bit cagey here. Because I'm actually, for all my bluster and bravado and confident machismo, I'm actually really quite worried about Ariovistus. Chat, if you'll notice, he's basically pulling the exact same manoeuvre I pulled on him last time we played. That's a he, he used. I used the uh, edge of the building to kind of block his units and then try and use range to bait him in. He's, uh, he's at least learning. <laughs> he's at least learning from uh, experience. Clever girl. Clever girl. Who are... Why is he from the West Country? Why not? I'd watch West Country Jurassic Park all day long. I'm kind of watching the chat, I'm also kind of watching the game and trying to... <laughs> Max is trying to spot all our mistakes so he can point and laugh at us in the pub later. Oh yeah, we're allowed, aren't we? We are. What are you doing after the stream, Robin? <laughs> Get to bed early. Sorry, you weren't voting, were you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to either, to, I'm, I'm hoping like to either toast to victory or drink my sorrows <laughs> away. And so, these fine chaps... Slings, Max. Slings, Check 30 range. inches. 30 inches. There's a tree in the way as well. Um, ooh, it's, it's hard cover. Clearly, <laughs> that is a mighty. But you're not oak. up to it. I'd say probably minus one. 
Yeah. Like, if you were actually touching it, probably minus two, but... Well, I'm in trouble, I can hear my phone ringing. So all of your slingers can do it. So they're all in range, but I just need to see who actually can see you. I think it's just to the side. Do, do you need a, a second opinion? I think you're going to get hard. I think you're going to get pretty solid cover actually, because these guys can see you, but they are you're actually pretty obscured by the edge of that building and those trees. So that'll be for long range minus one. What is their ranged value? I think their range value is a big fat plus one. So they need sixes. Obviously, the big thing with SPQR, the core mechanic, is you're always looking for a six to hit. And your modifiers basically reduce. Yeah, what are they? What are they positives? Their range is their range is plus one. Okay. Um, Can you move twice and then charge? Uh, no, it would be a move, and then a, a melee action. A melee action includes a move. Right. So it's move and then melee. So move to contact and fight. Right. Robin's thinking. Can you double fight? Uh, I think you can double fight. Yes, that makes sense. Basically, you can double up on everything except a lot of the time shooting. They'll have a reload like slings do. Yeah. Um, so you can take for sack off your movement to be done as yeah. well. That's what I was checking. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's going to be eight slingers. So they are, would need fives. They're at long range. They'll need six. Um, how did we split sevens last game, Max? Uh, I don't know if you can in this game. I don't think you can, can you? I don't mean there's rules for impossible shots. No, I've not seen an impossible shot. However, I have seen a few t a few places um, a six always succeeds. No. So it works on the crits. So we shall see. I'd say a little rusty, been a little while since I have played. It's been a very long time since I've played any <laughs> game. Oh, and a six is always a success flat. Yeah, so sweet. So I just need sixes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight. So looking for sixes at Robin's. That's one of them is a six. Robin, you will need to make an armor check. So I've got leather armor, so that makes me five, five plus. So that'll be five. I'm just gonna double check. I don't think slings have any uh, special horrible rules. Lethal two. No, lethal no, two. No. Lethal one, sorry. Lethal one, so you need um, sixes to save. I've got one six. You've got a whole six? So that negates my one six as uh, sling stones whiz harmlessly past their ears. That was wonderfully anticlimactic. Thank you, slingers. This is why you wear clothes. Oh, You're all eleven. Eight. Oh. Chaps, surely. No, no it's, it's one, 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 one <laughs> yeah. wound cause, one wound. Yeah. Oh, one right. Do you yeah. have to do that again? I, I think that would be fair. <laughs> I think so, yes. Sorry. That's so, all yeah. right. I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, you got so many dice. So, <laughs> roll one dice, yep. looking for a six. Oh, you want me to do it again? Yes, mm, please. Oh, you jammy sod. You're not going to let me go. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Mark just makes a mistake. I'm going to hit. Oh, yeah. One death. One has died. Excellent. First, First blood. blood to me. I'm going home now, uh, having killed more of the enemy than I've lost, and declaring myself a victorious vanquishing champion. Right, it's on now. And uh, it is your turn. It is. Yeah. So please. Um, You're doomed. Put it on. We can pre-measure, we can pre-roll, can't we? Uh, pre-measure, can't pre-roll. <laughs> I've just rolled 14 yeah. sixes. I'm rolling, roll. I don't actually like that roll, I'm taking it back. Pardon? I'm yeah. rolling, I don't like that, I'm taking it back. Yeah. He's rolling, rolling, rolling the whole world round. Are you just out for a charge there, Robin? That's me. Ho, ho, ho. They're going to hold back. Ooh. They're going to hold back for now. My bow men. Are going to get their revenge though, I think. They, 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 they've had enough. Your yeoman who are bowmen. They're just going to come over here, sling arrows at you, little bowmen. You little slingers. <laughs> yes, excellent. So, check your range. 24 for a bow? No, 20. 20 for a bow, sorry, yes. 20. So we can get the first. Are you all in? Yeah, they're all in. All in, no cover. Um, you've got a pretty clear shot, I'd say, on them. Um, but you're over half range, so just minus ones to hit. Um, what is your ranged skill for those uh, trapmen? Plus one. So you're looking for five sixes to hit. Fives for your plus one, sixes for the being over half range. Watch him roll all sixes here. That's uh, not, not all sixes, but it's two sixes. It is two sixes, okay. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for sixes. Neither of those things are sixes. Two men die, including one of my best hairdos. Oh man. <laughs> Come on, take it, take it like a man. <laughs> <laughs> the bizarre challenge from Robin. Yeah. So, is that everything activated for you? 
Yes. You're just going to stay packed with those guys. So, let's uh, roll for the dice of fate. I think the the druid cast a spell on him and he's, <laughs> he's, he's frightened. Oh, that's oh six. please God. No. Robin, you can go first. Oh. Oh, dear, dear. Right. Archers, they're going to fire again. Yep, they're just going to shoot. Five, six, seven. Whittle down my dudes. Actually, if I stand still, do I get a plus one? Uh, no, it's not bolt action as much as your penalties for moving. All right, I might move just to get closer. Yeah, so units like the Slingers will probably want to not move because uh, they basically want to burn an act yeah. for reloading. Yeah. Um, but, you know, maybe if you want to get them into position when they want to run out and they will not get shots. Meanwhile, the archers can be kind of sneaky. Yes. Whoa. So they moved. I've oh, got the dynamic storm camera going. Yeah. We're all in range. All in range. We're over half range still, though. So that's going to be uh, sixes again. Starting to whip them down, though, because I think I've got a cunning plan. Mm. Not no. Cunning. Cool. <laughs> and the rest of your army, sir? They're going to stay put. Oh. See, that is an eminently sensible but cowardly decision, the kind I would expect from a man who wears clothes. <laughs> Therefore, my slingers will attempt to assault his bowmen. So that's going to be a move action, and then obviously the melee action, which is a move plus getting into combat. How so much is a move plus? So 12 inches, so it's 6 inches for the first move, 6 inches for the second move. And then 3 move, 3 uh, inches. No, it's uh, just 6. And six for twelve. Oh. They're in. Do you have any armour with these chaps? <laughs> Do I have any armour? Oh, yeah. They are armed Thank with you, fists though. and feet, Robin, I believe. <sighs> At least they've got leather armour. I think I've got just my bows to... So it's base-to-base -base contact models weird. fight. And let's just pull up the melee rules. So it is kicking off with the really, really, really rubbish guys punching each other ineffectually, I think which is my absolute favourite form of melee combat. So, all units in base contact um, will fight simultaneously. So, um, you need to basically make a pool of your melee dice. So count how many guys you've got in base contact with mine. All right. That is how many melee dice you've got. Five. Table. So you've got five. We've got one, two, three, four, five. I also have five. So we roll five dice simultaneously. Now, we're both tribesmen, so both of our melee value is plus one. So we're looking for fives here. That one is very cocked. I've got one. I have two. Ah, oh, huge. So don't worry, it's not like bolt action. I haven't just murdered the unit. Um, what we now need to do is make armour checks. We are both armour, nothing. No, I've, so, I've got leather armour. Oh, you've got leather armour, yeah. so you're armour. Okay, minus six always passes. It's always worth giving yourself a little bit of armour, because even if you get like hit by a smash or a lethal, yeah. you always get to make at least a roll. So it's always worth it, okay. in my opinion. Leather's very useful. Oh. That's one save from... Oh, don't you don't get saves. Oh, I didn't, know. I'm an idiot. You don't get armour. So I roll... How two. many wounds did Marcus cause? Uh, two. Two. Do you roll two and a six uh, negates a character team? And he goes away. Oh, no. Nope. So he loses oh, Robin, two. Robin, one to know with those archers. They can shoot twice. Oh, my lord. Yeah. Well, you know, next time. When they're not, uh, when big they're not ups being... to uh, Haggard for spotting that one. When they're not being. One, oh, uh, I'm, I'm obviously trying to be impartial. I don't want to uh, help yep. either now, side. I, do, I want to see Marcus fail, but I don't want to you know, cheat. Basically, this just rolls over now, doesn't it? This is a... <laughs> Standard. Do you have a second fight action to make? Um, I did not. I charged. So, so was that a move and then a move and then a move, move and then a melee? So yeah. you're basically out with them. Yeah, Robin, in your turn, because I believe they remain locked unless yes. you win. Locked unless they win, or one of us chooses to flee. Oh, I'm going to choose to flee then. Okay. A player may decide that his unit has no chance against his opponent. Perhaps he has inadvertently placed an unarmored archers in close combat with a mighty hero. When locked in close combat, a unit may still perform a move action to flee out of combat. However, before the unit can move, every enemy model in base contact uh, first fights an immediate round as outlined as a normal melee action. However, the fleeing unit doesn't attack back. So you can get out, but you will take a smack in the face for it. Oh. Um, and you can't do that until your turn. Yeah. It is still my turn, in the great words of Mr. Hyde from Van Helsing. Excellent movie. <sighs> right. the second time that's come up today. Is it? Mm -hmm. Now, these... Yeah, we're in a little bit of a uh, 
Watchman mood. Ah. This is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have to get a little bit creative here. Like put it away. Green is not a creative colour. <laughs> However, as it turns out, sweaty flesh is the most creative colour of all. It's disgusting. <laughs> And yet here come the sweaty naked hordes. Right. This is going to be very fun. <laughs> Will it? No, it won't be. It's going to be over. <laughs> this is going to be a uh, bloodbath. And that will be my turn. Right. So, it is over to... Um, Robin? Over to... <laughs> did, we, no, did, did we dice a fate? Wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, if yeah. Robin stayed still, shot with his archers, I charged his archers in my turn. Oh, is that all he did that? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I missed the turn entirely. That's a six. Will you stop getting sixes? I will not, sir. I'll stop getting sixes if you agree to keep getting nothing but ones. Okay. So I should move. Um, so... Oh, you're going to charge me. I want to charge you. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it, and I really don't want to. But I am actually scared enough, Varia Vistus that I am going to charge him with this unit. So, a um, little bit of tactical table leaning. Can I, can, can I issue a challenge in his turn? Because I'm going to take on that druid. Uh, I, yeah. think, I think the druid might decline that challenge. I don't think he can. I think just get the uh, ah, druidic presence. A druid may not be challenged by an enemy hero. Um, in addition, he can uh, any unit he leads may re-roll any of its own melee dice in close combat. Um, so, the Hammer of the Gauls is going to smash into the uh, Hammer of the Germans. I'm trying to keep them. He's going to stand his ground though, and then he's going to... Well, he's them. only going to be fighting a small number of guys. Because I'm really trying to avoid double charging those units. So I'm trying to stay out of base contact with them. Which really limits the number of guys I can get into base contact with you. But I think we are actually about to see Aria Vistas becoming a little bit of a lawnmower. So I've got four guys in contact. So. Now, my unit of Gaulish warriors. Well, it's my unit card for Gaulish warriors. So they are skyclad. So, because they are blessed by the gods for being very naked, they gain plus one to their melee checks. They are large, because there's more than ten of them. So they gain... Plus one to bravery checks, and they have wild charge because they're a large unit. They gain ten extra melee dice added to their melee pool when they charge. So that is going to be hitting you with one, two, three, four, fourteen dice, um, needing fours. Hmm. And they're a druid, so they can reroll. So it's fours rerolling. <coughs> Six and eight. 9, 11, 12, 13, 14. And Robin, how many melee dice does Aria Vistas have? He's got plus three. Uh, so, so is that his um, melee dice? All right. Now, it'll be, um, yeah. Because he'll have, um, obviously, his melee stat, which is plus three because he's terrifying. His melee dice is four, mate. Right. So he rolls four dice. Oh, right. And he's looking for threes. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. So... I was looking for fours, and I can re-roll. So I got three, oh, uh, two fives and four. So that's three successes for you. And I only got four natural successes, which is awful rolling. Thank goodness for the druid. So that is that many. One, two. And what is his armour? Oh, zero. Harry Vistas isn't armoured. He's got no armour on. Oof. I think I just killed Larry Vistas, Max. Possibly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he's got no armor. Yeah, that was uh, ten wounds on Ar ten hits on Larry Vistas. Oh. I think Larry Vistas just went sleepy bye bye, and three of my men just went sleepy bye bye. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> However, if you'll notice, Robin. You see where my naked men are? Yeah, I know. What is the closest thing currently to my naked men? My naked men? Well, your entire army, in point of fact. And uh, I still haven't finished my turn, because I need desperately these guys to come sprinting up 
and you know maybe hopefully save their bodies. Terminal Ballistics has just watched Mental Gymnastics, his guys absolutely mint Ariovistus, and now he feels a little bit ashamed of himself that it wasn't him trying to charge him. So, over to my turn, over to uh, your turn, sorry, Robin. Right. So. So, Millie. Yep. <laughs> Does that mean I can go swamp around you? Uh, yes, yes, you've got all the movement in the world, mate. Right, so I'm going to swamp around you with ten champs. Yep. Uh, I would advise leaving some space so that some of the other guys, if these guys don't die, can get in. I know, that's it. Uh, my naked men are going to charge. Uh, so when you do this, so we, you've done the melee action, we resolve that one, I believe, um, first. Right, we'll do this one first. Yes, yeah, so you resolve that. If they're still alive, then your other guys charge. Yada, 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 if that makes sense. Yeah, so I need ten dice. So, ten dice, and I'll show if I can base contact. One, two, four. Five, six. I've got six in base contact. I uh, have they got clubs, Robin? They got two D six, two D. Yeah. So wow. wow. So it's twenty dice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many did Ari Vistus die by? Uh, ten. Uh, so he uh, he took ten wounds. I was mad. I was checking. There's a couple things here. That he's got wall of iron, which means you'd have to re-roll one of those. Yeah. Um, he had what I uh, think a wall of iron that you could have activated that would have given him some uh, help, but it would have mean he wouldn't have been attacking himself. If yeah, we're not, we're not using the traits though. Is that the talents? Are we not using them at all? Yeah, we're keeping them. Like, so my uh, hero doesn't have any talents. He's just a bash man. Ouch. Um, so yeah, um, we roll some things. So Robin, what are you looking for uh, as your roll? Dun dun dun. Germany warriors. Millie plus two. How? So you're looking for plus two. I have short spears. They have clubs. So short spears have reach, which is if I'm being fought by an enemy that doesn't have reach. You're on a minus one to hit me, so you're at plus one instead of plus two. However, your smasher means I can't try and re-roll anything with my shield. Cool. So I need plus fives. So you need fives, fives yep, yeah, and I'm going to need uh, fives as well. Roll but I can re-roll. I'm glad I get the re-roll. Two, four, six, eight. Cool. So I don't have armor. I can't use the shields because of Smasher. That is them uh, saying goodbye. Um, or most of the units saying goodbye. Uh, I have got four of yours, Robin. So you've got leather armor, haven't you? Yes. You'll need to make four armor saves. And just remind me how many you killed through. Eight. Eight. You killed eight. I'll remember to take those off in just a second. Eight. Ah. Wow. It's a two die. Still made two saves. Do you have shields? Oh, I did have shields, but... Oh, he has shields, yes. Yeah, you get to re-roll that, I believe. Oh, he is. Forgot about that. With your big shields. No. <laughs> the shields, they do nothing. Let's take this chap off. Yep. This chap off. Right, we'll take eight of mine off. One, two. Three. Four. Five, six. Seven, eight. So it is uh, the druid. And the uh, standard bearer left. And they are going to need to make a will to fight check. <laughs> um, let me just work out or remember, remind myself how that works. So, do, 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 come on. I know you said come on computer there. I've been so used to it. Where on earth is will to fight gone? Will fight 19. Excellent. So. Um, yeah, I have uh, lost um, more than um, half of its original models, <laughs> rounding down, oh, yeah. very much so, and indeed more than a quarter, and it's been reduced to a quarter. Luckily I don't need to roll twice, but obviously I'm rolling on bravery. Now, because they are naked, um, they, um, nope, that's naked a melee bonus. The druid does not make them care, the druid's really scary, so this one bloke, I am looking for a five or more for him to not run away. And because he, uh, at the horn barrier, is dead, so. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> he dies. Nice. The druid is left on his tod. <laughs> sure. 
There we go. How See, many... that was over half an hour. That was over half an hour. How many wounds did the druid have? Uh, the Mr. Druid. Two, I think. Two. And he didn't take any wounds. No, the druid. Uh, the, there was no overspill or anything like that. Um, so um, they've activated. Um, well, that was just one action for them, wasn't it? To to move in a melee. Yeah. Um, you could, if you wanted, move in with them again and melee the druid. Okay, right, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so these chaps getting in close. Yep. <laughs> the druid has a dagger. Because I thought I should probably give him a some... one sickle. He's got two sickles, but apparently two sickles count as a dagger. Twin linked sickles. Twin linked sickles. I'll take twin linked, it means I get to re-roll. You know what, I'll let you do that. <laughs> That works. Like very little it's worth. Yeah. Uh, the dagger has the rule short. <laughs> um, Stubby. You can see the model, Robin. Yeah. It is, I should point out, absolutely boiling in here right now. Um, so, I've got uh, one melee dice. How many melee dice do you have, Robin? What comedy number of melee dice? So there's eight chaps left. So, I'll have 16. That's 16 versus my 1. I'm feeling confident about this in the way that I so often do. Oh, put that back. And what are you looking for, Robin, right here? Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! Robin's so confident of victory, he's knocking the table off and desecrating the house of the gods. I am sure this cannot come back to bite him in any way, shape, or form. It was... Isn't it plus 5? Uh, yes, you're looking for fives there. So, just then, unfortunately. Ah! No. Uh, that still very kills him. He is unarmoured. <laughs> uh, Vosslin there in the chat. When do they start work on Victor at Sea Rome Edition? I can't tell if that's a joke, but there's nothing in the works yet, as far as mm. I'm aware. Uh, I don't think it would be Victor at Sea's Rome. I think it would more likely be Black a Seas. Black Seas modified. But uh, if you watch last week's episode, uh, Gabriel actually touches on this. He does. And um, the answer might shock you, but you'll have to watch the video. Yep, I <laughs> cannot wait for Cruel Caesar if we ever eventually do Why it. Why does the video feed have Victor it say? I updated that. Ah. So, Robin, you still have two more units. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. With which to do mayhem. I know. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, these guys are dead. I should uh, take these guys away. They look super dead. Oh, lordy. Right. Aha, found it. So I can do one move. Yep. And then I can get into melee. You can indeed. Units. Yep, easy one to miss, but now it has the SPQR logo because I accidentally left uh, Victory C's logo down in the bottom. Well, we had all sorts of tech kerfuffles uh, at the end of the last one, and. Uh, so... Oh boy, we did. <laughs> yeah, just in case anyone didn't see the abrupt end of the last one, Max's laptop went, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... It's half dead. It's a venerable beast. Yeah, it's, okay, been, okay. it's, it's been around. Yeah, Robin started on this one. Did you inherit this one? Or is this new when you got it? No, I had that one. I inherited that one. Wow. This, the, this the, is on its like third, maybe fourth user. An and to think we uh, thrash it every week by making it run a multi cam Twitch. Oh, yeah, they get used hard in customer service. Oh, yeah. Maze has not caught fire yet. It's trying its best. No, no, home PC caught fire once. Oh, I remember that no, story, yeah. Tragedy it was. Two, three. So. Um, you've done a really good job of that charge as well. You've got the base contact really nicely. So, have you got a hero in that unit at all, Robin? No, unfortunately, you've killed him. Damn, that would have been really annoying. So, we do actually have um, a mixed unit here because I have my Gaulish hero, uh, Terminal Ballistics, front and centre. So, give me just one second to find out. Your hero. So, I need, um, basically what's happening, Robin, yeah. is enemies, <laughs> Gary in, en Sorry, <laughs> enemies, Gary. enemies in base contact with my hero, so these two chaps, yeah. fight him separately. So we need a separate pool for those two guys and him, yeah. and then a separate pool for these three guys and those two guys. So, my two guys over here on the left, super easy, you two have, dice. You have to complicate him. <laughs> so these three guys here... Yep, are fighting those two guys. So, um, they've got clubs, haven't they? Yeah. Clubs. So, you're on minus one to hit me because I've got short spears and reach. Yeah. Um, so, what's your... So, you're on flat sixes. Millie plus two. Oh, so you're on fives. And then I am just on plus two as well. So, I'm on fours. That's two. 
Oof. Oof, I don't like that. So that's going to be three. So those two just die. We don't get overspill, because I think one of the things that uh, really hurt the last the version of SPQR was some of the overspill mechanics. So we're getting some uh, serious attrition going on. Yeah. It's a bit of a bloodbath. These two are going to cark it. I think it's going to be a grind. Oh. It wouldn't be if Ariovistus was not Hadn't been so charge first. That was my plan all along, <laughs> to do what Mars then, is doing. And then you were betrayed by the dice of fate. Um, so, these guys, so you've got, you've got two. I've got my hero, who is rolling two dice, melee plus two. And he just has a sword. Mm. And uh, two wounds. That's going to be one hit for him. Oh, he's dead. You, sir, have just murdered my hero with three wounds. Yeah, vengeance. Get in your face. <laughs> it's uh, oddly specific, but yes, Terminal Ballistics has fallen. Oh, the gods weep. Vivictus, woe to the vanquished. So, um, do, 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 do. Right. now, ongoing combat. Um, Wait, this, this jumps just stay in unless someone wants to move out. Yeah, so it's uh, ongoing. Um, so, can I move this unit and then get into your? Uh, yes, I believe so. Obviously, what you want to do is um, just pile them in. These guys. Yeah, pile them in because they're going to stay in combat basically. Right. Now, yeah. um, did they? Was it one move and then a charge for them, or just a charge? It was one move and, and a charge and a charge. So yeah, that's the end of their activation. So they're just getting up. I, I love the little circle of death they've got going on back there. The yeah, guys that killed the druid. It's nice and easy to get the. Uh, the druid kind of ring around the roses. Yeah. So these two. Ooh. Get it. This is really swung against you, Marcus. It has. It's gone really quite badly wrong. How long has this taken, Max? Are we about it's to see. It's a very short game. It's only been about uh, 45 minutes of the whole stream. Yeah, we've not been live very long. What? you got to play better, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think more varied, a very not, you know... If you I, really more varied know, I don't need to play better, I need to get some male shirts, I think. And some male trousers, and just any kind of clothing for them, possibly. So these two, well, pretty much can only reach this chap here, really, so... Yep. They so there's going to be two attacks on one, coming back the other way. They have reach, so... Um, are they two attacks each as well, yeah? Yeah, melee plus two. So that's uh, so melee dice, is, so they're two melee dice and melee plus two. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I've got one dude at melee plus two. We've both got reach, which just cancels out. One. Well, and he dies. <laughs> wow. These guys have no armor either. So. Yeah. Wow. That's a, uh... that's a that's a that's a pile. <coughs> Does that mean these guys move up? Uh, yeah, they'll pile in a little bit. Um, Show. Sure. Yeah, that's all far as far as I can get. Now. The last one you had this. was these guys who were going to flee. I think they should flee, Robin. Really? I think they should just mash you. They're going to stand and fight. Mash your face in with <laughs> Cool. Right. So you can, you've got two melee actions here. You could fight twice. So you could go, let's do a melee and let's do another one. Right. So it's uh, going to be three on three here. Yeah. Um, and they're just bogger tribesmen and they're going to be hitting each other on fives. Plus one. Yeah, same. Wow, thank you, Dice. Nothing. One. Oh, one. And, uh, yep, yeah, he's gonna bacark it. Making the noise of a strangled chicken. And I can do a second melee, melee yep. and move up, surely. Yep, exactly. So I can do three on three. Oh, you can oh, oh, get the yeah, overmatch yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, 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 there we go. You've got six inches of movement, so that's gonna be one, two, so my mod's the best character. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm on six dice. Come on! So Give me some winnings! So I needed five, I got, I got three. Two, two sixes. So that's two of mine and three of yours. Oh, yours have got leather armor, haven't they? Yeah. Always some armor saves. It's gonna be fives. Mm -mm, one save, two die. Mm -hmm. Two of mine. So if you're two of mine... Is that the uh, archer's knife fight over there? Yeah. Uh, well, none of them have got knives. It is archers and slingers ineffectually punch each other in the face. It just hardly feels worth it, really. They're just having a bar fight over Max, in the can, corner. Can we, get game, can we get a game count? Oh, they're really fresh, they're oh. <laughs> it's the, what, the, most, the most unnecessarily um, pathetic brawl I've ever seen. Yeah, it's... Right. Uh, they're not great. 
Do I need to roll? Because there's only three of them. Uh, yes, you will. They've been reduced. How many were there originally? There's eight. Yeah, they've been reduced to um, under half strength. So, what is their bravery score, please? Bravery plus one. Bravery, so you need fives. On three, or just one? Uh, it is on one dice. Come on, you can still... I believe in you! Five. They are going to run away, I think. Uh, well. Uh, world fight, let me just check page 19. Yep, um, you have failed the world fight roll by... You needed five and you rolled a one, didn't you? Yeah. You've run, you failed it by four, so you lose four models. Which is the entire Ouch. unit. Yeah, they're gone. There we, we go. won the bar fight. Yeah. <laughs> that means there's three cheers for small victories? Yes, very small. No, average size victories. Um, we're thinking big here. And uh, yeah, I always want to say Haggard, I think, right at the start of the stream, pointed out, yes, the return to Tinnitus Farm um, from the ACW um, game, where it was that everything was happening around that one poor man's house. There's a very, ups yeah. very upset Roman. Yeah, it's fine. They've so, been evacuated. Um, it is now the dice of fate. That's a six. Yeah! Ah. Right. <laughs> Robin with the startling aggression and um, a strange gleam in his eye here. This is this is going to hurt you more than it was going to hurt me. <laughs> well, you are winning. That's the plan. <laughs> Robin has. Uh, there we go. If nothing else today, Robin has learned how beating someone up works. Right. And moving, well, melee one. Yep. So. I'm going to get all my guys. My these, This is the armoured unit, because they're a bit less delicate than the other chap. <laughs> I think. Still so. pretty squishy. One, two, three, four. One, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven against one, two, three, four. Seven on four. So, um, it's going to be fives for me, and you're plus two, fives for you because of the long, uh, the short spears. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's a lot of dice. That ain't cool. <laughs> wow, that's awful rolling, though. How many dice? Uh, that's one. You killed one. I killed and you must make two armor saves. Wow. Two armor, leather armor. Yep, five fives. Please. Fails one. One guy died. <laughs> And I lost one guy. Somehow, out of all that, we drew. However. However, it's now going to happen, again. you guessed it, a second time. Right, so, I'm moving in. This time it's going to get more. Yes, Armour Stig, much more terminal than ballistic at this point. Thank you very much. I think hey, you kind of set yourself up for that one, I think. Really should have been the leader of my slingers. <laughs> So this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. Seven again? Yep, against, uh, for me, one, two, three, four. Again. Let's see if I can get a repeat of that. I'm sure the dice will continue on that entirely improbable path and get me lots of wins. Mm. That's one success again for me. <laughs> um, I see a couple of sixes. Two, three... I so there's one Four. under uh, the tree there, mate. One there, yep. Yeah. Five. That's more like it. <laughs> yep. Now we're getting some swings. Uh, you'll need one armour save, please. Okie dokie. Let's... Vengeance! <laughs> Come on! In your face. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, um, Robin's here for the win, not for the uh, sportsmanship wooden spoon. Oh, no, I can't help it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Now, with the... I don't only mind. The adrenaline's... The adrenaline's it's only Marcus's <laughs> feelings. Robin smells blood and he's going for the kill. <laughs> I'm going for the bravery check on these warriors. Um, which will be a... Um, I'm trying, <laughs> just trying not to cry now. It's all right. Um, which will be anything but fives. Oh! Boom. Nail the bravery check. They're still in. What are you going to do about it, Robin? How are you going to act? Another year. That is not what I thought you were going to do about it, all I wanted you to do about it. Do something different about it, please. Another unit is just going to scramble in. Yep. Here we go. Oh, is this the end? I think it might be, but you know what. Uh, Haggard. Yes, very interesting point about the slingers um, being deserving a combination and the next wall of being drawn from them. Interestingly, the guy leading them is actually my spare hero. I needed an extra body oh, for my yeah, slingers. Yeah. Uh, with the man with the greatest hockey hair in Britain, or sub-Roman Britain. So, uh, how many is that, please, Robin? 
Diddly 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 diddly. That is eight chaps. I've got one dice. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Eight Something chaps. tells me. Oh, yeah. That's a six. Beat that, going. Robin. Okay, yeah, that's so one. Six one. Go on, beat that with your uh, 16 dice. It is quite extravagant, 16 dice. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not be stunned to learn that Robin beat that with his 16 dice. Yeah, I think your unit... No. <laughs> I think he, uh, who I'm going to call... Um, you know, I really like playing in Germany. Which is <laughs> <just> so, <laughs> so hard. And he... You know, I think they just bring out the best of me. Now, th this yeah. is how I want to be. Now I'm winning. Yeah. Maybe I should switch to Germans. Maybe none of this happens if I don't play Germans. Well, they'll lose when he's playing is Germans. He... Uh, Shut up, man. Uh, oh, oh, we, we invite the guest uh, on. The guest stomps on my heart. Did you get one to save it? Um, is he saved? Oh, no, he is dead as well. All uh, right. I thought that would be... He was previously deceased. He could take one down. <laughs> right, so what happens with these slingers? Uh, so, well, it's uh, my turn. Are you going to run away? No. Retreat! Running away, Robin. Do you have to take a check because I've killed both your heroes? Uh, uh, you may, I may actually have to. Uh, nobody <laughs> I in actually line know about sight. That one. I think I'm going to have to take a check because of my warband, though. Ah, so the warband has been reduced to one quarter of my starting models. Oh, yes, it has. So I'm going to need to roll a bravery check. They are tribesmen. They are bravery plus one. They fail by three. Is that three runaways? Is that the units? Three run away, and now Yikes. I think that cascades another one because I think victory it sees they are now sudden. reduced to half of their starting models or less. So another bravery check. They fail that one by four. There goes the unit. <laughs> wow, that was a quick game. That was a resounding curb stomp, Robert. That's stunning. Yeah. That's... yeah, and that's basically most of them are uh, armies dead, dead. Yeah. You took my hero, Aria Vistas, which is pretty... I think had he had his talents, yeah. he'd be a pain in the bum to... Yeah. Interestingly. I'm um, curious, I was, I was wondering, why didn't you attach him to unit? Because that's what allowed him to get targeted. You know what? I didn't think about it. Uh, <laughs> so what I, I wish should I... really, shouldn't I? Well, yeah. I wish I could. Because I, I only... Because I talked to Marcus, I was saying, like, why don't you put your units back? Yeah. That's because I saw him pull them out to, to show up for the camera. You set yours up like that. I'm like, maybe there's a special rule about Aria Vista, so maybe his dogs keep him safe, or Robin's on something when I see it, and I'm like, Aria Vista is anything but safe. His dogs his dogs do, but it's only... You know what we completely is. forgot to do that I wish we'd done? What's that? Will to fight triggers when a unit has line of sight within and is within 12 inches of an enemy hero is removed as a casualty. Mm, okay. I could have got the cascade going on those two units, but I don't think tactical use of rules is um, much cop against the overwhelming power of me playing a war game. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, Germans were up for revenge there, mostly. I'm not sure who they were avenging. They were, they, they were just out for blood. There, there was no revenge. There was just venge, Max. I was venge. How did he miss this? Oh, oh, yeah, I killed him really early on, didn't I? <laughs> I still think they would have venged It's alright. Uh, you weren't playing the game, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm a little lightheaded from the beatdown I've just okay. received. Uh, but no, Haggard, for you, the one wondering who was leading the unit of slingers, uh, how are we getting for? Uh, base bit in front of the unit. Well, there. Yeah. That chap there. Take those smelly Germans away, Robin. <laughs> These are yeah. victorious Germans. They are victorious, but they are smelly. Uh, that guy there is my backup hero. Mm. Oh, you um, have one chap there as well. <laughs> They're just weeping quietly near the So tree. much devastation. It's the problem with two armies comprised mostly of naked men. I know, I think I'm thinking I'm going to end up finding half a dozen of Robin's models and he'll find half a dozen of mine in our figure cases. I would also say, because the game's wrapped, I'm going to say in about five minutes we're going to call, so I'm going to call a very early... Uh, Amnesty? Amnesty. So if anyone has any uh, questions about the game that they want to ask uh, any of the people at the table, please uh, do. Um, if there's any general Warlord questions, we are around for the next few minutes for answering those too. If there's any burning questions you all had in your minds. Yes. Um, but no, please do continue with uh, post-game round down. Um, Robin, the traditional air handshake over the table. Excellent. Uh, Ogdog, how do Romans play an SPQR? Um, not too different from this. They are more expensive than the Gauls, but not as much as they were in V1. So you're not like as significantly num uh, outnumbered as you were in the past. Um, they have Pelums as well. They have Pelums, and they have a lot of hard kit. If you go back and watch me and Marcus play, I was almost running Romans. I was running uh, uh, Roman Auxilia only. 
And just with having way more armor, I was again able to just kind of take control of the battlefield and get a put uh, stamp my authority on the uh, the locals there a bit. There was some stamping. I will admit to having been stamped on. Um, and then sorry, Mark. Thirtieth PA. <laughs> really how does the experience system work? So basically, um, let's actually bring up the rules. I think next time. I might, do, I might bring my British if they're done. That doing way. Br- we're doing a naked man off. That is going to be the bloodiest. No, the winner short. fights winner, right? No, my yes, mine, it is. Mine don't. Mine does not have. I it. think next time we'll be uh, doing one of the uh, a SPQR uh, game as well. It's probably going to be people from the campaign. Yes. Well, if you'd like. So it might be Robin again. It might be. Someone I, else. I think we should do winner fights winner and loser fights loser because I think I can win that one. Okay. Who was the loser? Me. It's, it's, oh, it's right. Robin, Robin, it's always me. But welcome to the channel. Okay, so, over time, if they survive, your heroes will gradually <laughs> oh, become... Oh man, I feel really bad now. <laughs> ...become oh. wiser and more skilled, able to perform we incredible feats in battle. Either, it's just um, so, you gain forward. 1 XP for um, surviving a battle without failing a will to fight check. Uh, 1 XP for every unit he destroys or drives off if a hero was within the unit that was destroyed. So basically, if you win a combat, they run away and get yeah. killed in the process. Yep, yeah, the account is killing him. And plus 1 for every level of enemy hero slain in a challenge. Whoa. So if you beat up like a level 5, it costs more than a naked hero. No pun intended. <laughs> so level 2 requires 3 XP. So yeah. after three games, you're guaranteed to hit level two. If you start killing other characters, yeah. you start doing stuff that's it's significant. Snowballs. Surviving as well, because dying on this tabletop doesn't mean you die in the whole campaign. Um, oh, and it gets harder as you go up to uh, gain more stuff. So for example, level two gets you an extra talent and an extra wound. Um, level three doesn't get you an extra wound, but it does get you extra characteristics. You may want to buff your strength, yeah. buff your fight. Um, and it gets extra chance. You always get at least a talent uh, with every level up, and then it alternates characteristics and wounds. So by the time you hit level nine, which is the uh, cap, which requires forty-five XP, so that's like long campaigns and a good bit of oh, luck. Yeah. Um, you will have incredibly high stats and talents out the proverbial wazoo. Well, some of the camp- <laughs> there's a couple of campaign rules in there, like modes for playing campaign. Yeah, where the winner can be the first player to get a level nine hero. Oh, that's pretty Which cool. is like, you know, glory of the gods yeah. kind of vibe. And then hopefully play a winner takes all game. Oh, just yeah. Just so you actually get a chance to run your level 9. See, it'll just, be pretty dirty. just see how nasty a level 9 character really is. Um, so, Vosden there. Any plans for medieval style SPQR under Death of Glory? So, it's been discussed. I don't know if it's gone any further than that. It's obviously something we know that we've got the rights to. Um, that's the thing. If we were going to look into medieval, it would also be looking at Hail Caesar, possibly. Yeah. Probably not Era 1, but you know, we've, we've got options and it's definitely not something that's just around the corner. Yeah. Um. So so I don't know, hopefully, because it's something I'd be interested in. I, I'd love to see some 100 Years War on uh, the tabletop with uh, Warlord models. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. Harry's, that would look really nice. But so, so nothing yet. Death or Glory, maybe at some point. Um, so we've got quite a few coming in here. Uh, Mike, uh, he says thank you for the USS Chester. Uh, no worries, Mike. More than happy to help. Uh, Voslan again. Pilm doesn't have lethal. What the heck? I imagine that's a probably because the intent might be they were used to mess up shields. It's yeah, possibly more to represent usage. You're more throwing it at them to slow a charge down and break up a charge more than you're throwing it specifically. I think to kill everyone you hit. If that yeah, makes sense. Because I because uh, it's almost like they're not a dedicated shooting attack. They are a thing that's initiated on charges, if I remember correctly. Um, I can remember how they used to work in old SPQR, kind of, but I never played Romans, so... Um, when used, an enemy unit performing a melee action to charge the unit using the peeler suffers the following consequences. Uh, makes an immediate ranged attack, uh, range described as 10, uh, with an additional modifier. The acting unit no longer seems to be charging... Um, and doesn't get any bonuses for charging. That's huge. And they can't use their shields. So basically, I think that is a case of it's not, it's you're aiming for the head, aiming for the chest, you're yeah. aiming to disable the shields. There's arguments that it could be used in history. I ain't starting that historical argument because nobody knows. Yeah. And even the historians can't agree. So, uh, touchy subject. But I think that's the intent. And it also just means that Romans, that's one more thing that A, they'd be able to steamroll with, and B, um, actually have to pay for. So there's a risk that if we make it too cheap, we unbalance and it makes it Roman Bowl. And um, if we make it too expensive and suddenly Romans are nerfed because they're too expensive and it's prohibitive. 
It's a compromise that is based somewhat in history and allows everyone to take the fun toys, I think. I think that's a really good compromise, actually, given that the big thing that Gaul, Britain, Germany brings to the table mm. is that plus 10 dice when you're in a large unit. Oh, you've got wild charge, Nido. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's you know taking away all of your charge reroll bonuses, your extra melee dice, and just makes them stand and fight in combat. And really where the barbarian, a lot of the European barbarian nations have their real strength is in those big... As, Charles, as we first, saw here, yeah. Because if you go back and watch the Romans versus Britons game, the Britons and I didn't even have Peeler. Yeah. They kind of bounced a little bit, and we had these really long protracted combats. This it was the charge, lots of kills. Yeah. And then there wasn't a bogged down. If you had Roman on Roman, it would be a kind of slog to turn ten kind of thing. More often than not, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, which is, makes sense, you know. They're heavily armored, big shields, big helmets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Whereas these guys were naked. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, Robin, what would you want? What are you thinking? Would you add anything to this force? Would you change up how you played with it? Because I've got some answers for mine, but I'm interested to see as the yes, you want Victor um, as the winner. Genuinely, what did you think to the force? What are you thinking of doing to it next? Well, yeah, putting Arrow Avia Vistas in one of the units would have been the more <laughs> sensible option. I think playing with the talents would be quite good. Mm. Overall, it's. It's, a pretty, it's funny, we kind of took talents pretty, out for like concern of time. It's a, yeah, time. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, a basic, it's a basic army, really. All it does is charge. The, the bowmen are there just to... Take, Almost tempts to, people out. Tempt people out. Stops or, them or just, just camping. Or keeps or just them honest. Stop being flanked and that sort of thing. So um, and that's what I've got my archers for. It's, yeah. oh, I'm a defensive army. So, in, you know, you can't just wait back and we stare at each other because if you do, I'll just shoot you. Your archers are pretty gnarly as well. Yeah, they've also got swords and my, my, <laughs> my ancient Brits are a lot more different. They're going to be... Which you planning on using much... for the uh, league when it happens? Yeah, be, they'll be much more varied. I want to use... Uh, oh, cavalry. Nice. Chariots. I've got oh, more, still more dogs as well. Things like that. Just, yeah. just to... Give it a bit of variety. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot, I think the aim is a thousand a scenario than for the yeah. uh, uh, staff league. Because you're probably going to use this force. I'm going to be using my Romans. I'm using this force, but this force is about 700 odd points thereabouts. Yeah. Um, and I am going to be massively bulking that. I think the, the, like the 300 points up to 1,000, I think that's got to be all guys in oh, mail for me. And definitely using druids as well for my Oh, druids, druids are so much. More, druids more druids more. are very powerful. Just, just to have a... Uh, probably won't. Especially at low tier when they can take out a whole wound. That's half on a yeah, uh, yeah. basic character's uh, wound track. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I've got Bodice here. Ooh, booty nice. yeah. Booty booty. So she'll be fun to play with. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Um, classic here. It'd be interesting one. to see what people go with in terms of named and spending the points and going for quite a small elite warband versus taking generic heroes, which are cheaper in the league. You know, it'd be interesting to see who's loading up early. And whether the league rules against certain heroes. Yeah, obviously it's not been discussed yet, but we know it will happen. Yeah. Me, I'm going for basic. Yeah, same. I think it's my story, my hero. Yeah, and Terminal Ballistics is determined to be victorious at least once in his life. Well, I'll kill him first. <laughs> that's, the, that's the good thing about this game. You always survive a, uh, a one-shot game for next time. In the campaigns, you get injuries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Terminal Ballistics, you know, with one arm, half a leg, one eye, you know broken sword, crawling along. He's going to get that one win, and then he will go to the underworld. He's going to be the Black night. Knight and uh, Holy Grail, yeah. like hale and hearty. Come back yeah. at me. It's just right. flesh wounds. I'm going to say that'll do. We got all the questions answered in the chat. I hope everyone enjoyed today. Sorry it was a bit of a short one, but such is the way with uh, with live games. And obviously, the other week with the Victor at Seas, you got an absolute bumper episode out. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, we're going to uh, call the end today. It's a sunny day. Maybe Thank there's, you for maybe there's a pub in the future. Yes, and hopefully... Not for the uh, last time. No, thank you very much for coming on and absolutely annihilating to me. Oh, so, la last note, yes. important one. Uh, next week, we are not on Monday. We are going from Tuesdays as of next week. So I believe that'll be the 25th, not the 24th. Um, this will be our regular slot for the Monday Mayhem, Monday Musings. Obviously, we will need a rebrand on the name. I say, we still, postcard. I, I say we still just call it Monday Musings, we just have it on Tuesday. Yeah. Except Tuesday, um, what is Tuesday? So I don't think it'd be very professional to say why we're changing it. But expect more shows. Yes. Just leave it at that. Uh, I think the plan is three shows a week at some stage. And this is basically the early rejigging for getting it all going in. So, uh, yes. 
I'll see you all next times. week on Tuesday, probably for a painting stream. We're going to see yes. what we're getting, but I, I'm in a good mood for painting stream. So, see you next week. Stay safe and have a good time.